All right. I am like three donuts in, five months pregnant, and just carried up a bunch of stuff to sit in some natural light so I could show you some Sarah Wells bags. Um, oh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's start with, I'm wearing Nursing Queen right now. So this is in the real. I'm pretty sure this is in the real. I think I'm wearing it with the Nora. Um, I love Nursing Queen clothing. This is probably one of my favorites. Well, it is one of my favorites for sure. And it's one that I keep going back to because it fits really well over my belly. Um, I wear the oversized sweaters pretty often. Um, the t-shirts I like. Um, I like the black colors, but I'm more of a sweater person, so I gravitate towards this thicker material anyways. Um, and like for this one here, it comes down from each corner. There we go. And I'm wearing my Bodley bra still. I washed it last night. Um, so this is one, this is, I think it's called the camel block maybe or something sweater. Um, one of my favorites again, super soft. Wore, I've washed it a ton of times and it's aging very well so whatever this is made of and whatever you did here keep it going because I would like one in every color I, I genuinely mean that okay um I didn't bring up a bunch of clothing I'm wearing it so I thought I'd just talk quickly but I have all the bags here um so let's start um with this one here this is um in the video this is called the Kelly um it's in the La Floral if I'm even saying that correctly um and all of her bags have compartments for pumps. Now I will find and I will share, there is a graphic that shows you which bags fit, fit which pumps. And some of these bags fit the symphony. So some of these compartments are larger than others. Um, so I don't wanna say like a blanket statement, like they're all gonna fit X, X, Y, Z pump. Like, I don't know that for sure. I'll share a graphic on that. Um, but this one here, so you have one compartment on the side. Uh, this one here, see, I use the baby Buddha. So for me, that pump's gonna fit in anything because it's like literally this big. Um, but certainly the Spectra S, one, two, and the other ones also, I, I would be shocked if the SG didn't fit in here. This is a really big compartment. It's enormous. Um, and then there's only the one, so it really goes into the bag, like far into the bag. Um, matching wet dry bag. So this is a true wet dry bag. It is lined with plastic. I could fill it with water and it would hold it. Um, won't leak. Uh, you can't machine wash it, I'd be pretty confident to say. Um, but what I did when I use these regularly is I just pulled the insert out as much as I could, like inside out basically. And then I would run it under water, dry it, hand dry it a bit, and then just let it dry overnight and then start fresh in the morning. Um, I also have the cooler that comes with this print. Um, and this here I love too. I actually keep my mason jars in the cold gold is what she calls them. Um, so I put some ice packs in there and then like the whole mason jar, I, I would use a 33 ounce. Um, so that fits really well. And um, it is a backpack and it has a compartment back here. It goes all the way to the bottom. So you can put like a small laptop or whatever you need in there. And there is actually a laptop compartment in here. So there's just a lot going on. You, you will not be at any shortage in compartments with any of her bags. Um, there's so many, I could just bother you all day with them. One in the front here, another one, a zipper, which is, yeah, a zipper pocket all the way to the bottom, and then another one up here. I could, there's a lot of compartments, carrying handle and the backpack. Um, since we're on backpacks, let's go to the next one. This is called the Nora, and the color is called Latte. This is the one she just released. I want to say like back in like late summer possibly um, and they are sold out currently but they're coming back so I don't know when of course um, that's not my business uh, but I know it's coming so if you're interested in the Nora stay tuned because she's coming back she's coming back for a comeback um, and with this pattern she released the dragonfly so you've got the dragonfly wet dry and the dragonfly cold gold um, this bag, unlike the Kelly behind me that I just showed, this one do has, does have two compartments. Um, so this guy opens up on the side. Again, huge pocket. And then another one right here. And I actually I have it closed. There's like these closure snaps that you can compress them. 
and make them so you get yourself more room in the bag. But I just opened it. Um, so you got two pockets and two there. You've got your, um, I believe this would be considered uh, the laptop case bag and then pocket, 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 and a big old pocket on the back as well. So, and I think, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, let's see. No, you can't. I'm sorry. I was going to say you could hide the straps, but you can't. This is just like a little guy here for like a cell phone or something that my hand just fits in it, this pouch. Um, so yeah, again, this is the Nora in Latte. And then what else we got? This was the first bag I bought when I decided um, I needed a pump bag that my Madewell leather tote was not a pump bag and I was miserable using it. This is the Lizzie and Mosaic. This was from three years ago, three and a half years ago, World Breastfeeding Week. It was a special edition launch. I happened to get my hands on one. I loved it. Um, I'm so glad I did. And that's really what turned me on to pump bags was this um, bag itself. It's my first one I ever purchased. Um, and then I got, you know, the matching uh, cold gold and then the wet dries too. I, I went all out. I figured if I was going to, I might as well just do it all. And she had a special going on. So it worked out really well. And again, this one here has two pouches that go in and in. Pockets galore. Inside pockets that line the bags. Laptop. Yep, this goes deep. Laptop case. I mean, again, your laptop, the very, you know, depending on the size, it may or may not fit. Um, my laptop's enormous, so it probably will not fit in some of these compartments, to be perfectly honest. But depending on your size, you should be good. Um, so that is the Lizzie in Mosaic. And then I have the Lizzie in Deco, which I really like. I like the blue and I like the brown. I think it goes really nice together. Um, what do I have in this puppy? A whole lot of stuff. Um, so again, you've got your compartments on the side. Pockets galore. There's a nice big zipper pocket in the back for extras. I swear, I... The one thing that got me away from the Lizzie, and it's not a knock against it, but it's so big. It's the biggest she offered, and that was my goal at the time, is I want the biggest. And I got it, and then I got to a point where I was like, okay, it's too big. I'm losing my things. Um, so to end on and be done with this so I don't bore you anymore. Um, if you are, I'm sorry. I can talk and talk and talk. Um, this is the Abby. This is my favorite bag that she offers. Um, it's slightly smaller than the Lizzie, but it's large, about the equivalent probably to the other bags, but just the body of it and how it carries, it's just my favorite. It's the one I use for work. It's actually got stuff in it currently because it's the last bag I was carrying before I stopped pumping. Um, I, I don't use the inside compartment, so you can see that I have them snapped up to give me more room on the inside. And I've got my boo bags in here right now because I was just filming something um, more recently that required all this stuff. So you've got inside pockets, you've got um, laptop case, and just you know a couple pockets on the front, and then a large one in the back, and then of course like that that zipper that goes right through for like traveling to go on your suitcase. So this guy can go all the way, you know, sit right on for the suitcase, or you can button them up and keep them secure and locked with this little mechanism here. So this is my favorite bag. Um, I love it, and. I would say that if you're on the fence, like, do I really need a pump bag? If you find yourself struggling, um, you know, when you get to work and you're like fussing through your stuff and trying to, you know, you're like just scatterbrain like I am right now, um, the, this really does help being organized. I will vouch for that. And I'm not just saying that. I felt that way in the beginning. I remember on Facebook, I was went in some group and I had said like, that's a lot of money for a bag. And someone's like, if I'm going to be pumping my boobs every three hours, I'm getting a bag. And I was like, enough said. And so I got myself a bag and I never looked back. Oh, and the other reason why I really love this Abby is because of the height. So you can see it's a taller bag. And here's my series chill. And at one point, like towards the end of my last pumping round, I use this nonstop and it fits perfectly. Like you can't even see it's there cause it's so tall and I've got still space. So kind of give you an idea of depth and height. Um, great bag, love these bags. Sharing away um, if you like it, if you want it, if you get it, let me know. I hope you love it.